season now, the fact that he's got his kids around that he want to mm. foster, I wonder if he just didn't take off any pressure from his shoulders. Mm. And now he can just completely unleash and have a go at it. And he's been doing fantastic in this series. Na'Vi have to step up, safe to say, right? These are one of the favorites for the tournament. We need them making a run here, especially considering I just want to personally watch them play Outsiders for that Katowice quarterfinal rematch, Ooh. which is the next game. It will be the first game tomorrow if we get Na'Vi there. Otherwise, it's 0-0 and Asia making a huge upset. They're starting to charge B. The bomb is here, but it's very late, and it looks like a double fake. The bomb's going back now as Dumal tries to sell this one. Cold Zero in the window, Na'Vi don't know, and they're trying to figure it out. Piece this round together. Simple oh, flicks oh. back up to take Cold Zero out, and he resets B where Dumal started, but that bomb's still heading A, boys. That kid really hurt. I think Coldera was exactly where he wanted to be. He had Simple on a silver platter, misses the shot. But I still think Navi are a little bit lost in this round. They're not exactly sure where the Brazilians want to finish. That PT-50 will give it away. Bomb out ramp, but two CTs here. Oh my god. Navi hitting shots, dropping bodies all over the shop. And it's just Dumao with seven HP and a Glock. Not really too much to achieve from this. It should be a pistol round that Navi not only need to secure, but one they actually will as long as they can drop this last man. There it is. Simple finishes it off. Yeah, that kill in window is unbelievable. Should be colds every day of the week, but that's a simple effect. He looked pissed last map, mm. man. Rightfully. Yeah. Just, just, just think about the implications. Like, let's set the let's set the scene. Talk about storylines for half a second, right? Navi brought in MPL and gun round. The PS de resistance is online. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Oh, the little gaps. Zero Zero Nation, a slow default. Simple's AWP still reigns back at CT. But it's a stalemate. Zero Zero, wait for a reaction, wait for an early move. Navi will give them nothing. So after burning some util, they're going to have to pick up the pace. Second time's the charm. Yeah, we see the rotation coming in from Lado from A towards that T-spawn. It should be an indication that uh, Zero Zero Nation have their eyes set on a B split, potentially. They've completely abandoned that part of the map. It seems like Electronic has the right read. He moved on from window now being uh, back at jail. So we have a very strengthened defense on the, on the B side for Navi, and this looks like the right gamble. Pressure being applied. Utility being cast out as well. Short, entirely ablaze, but the push is now starting to arrive. Cold Zero turning off more literally now as he hits the head. Lato as well drops the electronic, what? and all the frags are coming up T side. Yeah, that info on the short play, he sees a player get car, so that's an immediate reaction for Zero Zero Nation. Electronic probably gets a couple of kills out of that position, if not for the spot. But they iced him out. 5v2, and it's a save. Simple and bit. Don't play in. The two flawless players right now will stay. Yeah, there's a couple of issues uh, with the round that we just witnessed. First of all, as you said, Electronic got a little bit unfortunate with the timing. He got spotted by that wide swing of catwalk, so they know where he is, and suddenly his element of surprise is completely gone. They pick him straight from apps. But it's also the issue of NPL being caught off guard by someone taking the last tick of a Molotov. And that in itself is an issue. MPL could can't just fall immediately, Catwall. He needs to have some sort of resistance here so that the rest of the defense can be activated. Because we had three players, and yet, yet this was a flawless attack. That one right here. That's a problem. If you're MPL, this white swing from Coltera is not supposed to be that successful. A fake right now. Zero Zero Nation are going to go A early. Simple will likely be smoked off at this position. <clears throat> Top con smoke though, so actually some room to be given. Jungle does also get covered and bits on an island. Oh, bit. Oh. On the peak out, he's done enough chip damage to actually convert. Wow, Even huge. finds himself another frag as well. So this has been really punishing the Zero Zero Nation. Now it's just cold lurking at middle. Okay. Muddles up Perfecto, draws in the fight towards him. Didn't expect him to hit the second, but this Lanimal is letting his claws out. 
2v2 on the bomb, still back at Tetris, so Lato's going to go for it. Cold is so patient on this fight, he knows he's going to get it. It's an SMG, but Cold is low. Favor maybe for MPL, who's calling for support. Simple watching his back. They almost swap out, thank goodness they don't. Simple needs this kill as this player is getting closer and closer. Tucked in, now nades out, Simple hits the arm, and Cold Zero alone gets swung by MPL. A dangerous fight to take, but one that Na'Vi needed to win, and they do bit right by closing that round. Nice try for Cold, man. Mm. It just makes every situation look winnable. Almost a crisis avert, if you're a Na'Vi, quite honestly. They, they've done all they needed at the very beginning. I think Bit played that to perfection, very disciplined, waited for the double flash from Simple to come in, he peeks on it, grants him a first kill, then repositions, gets a second on that shoulder. Cards. He was supposed to be traded immediately by Electronic, who had the information, and somehow he gets away with it, but Na'Vi are able to salvage. Ooh, they throw the nip smoke, the one just that lands in middle, that lets you lurk through it, lets you fight an AWP in an almost one-way kind of play, and it's drawn so much attention for Na'Vi, that they can just burst out of Palace. Bit gets one, you'll take that, because Simple and Perfect or quick to respond of Flick back to Con Lato in a 1v4 blink and this round is over. Simple's even hounding him down. He may pay the price, but Na'Vi should still close this and they will with HEs. That was costly, but it's still Na'Vi reacting quickly to what was a cheeky palace pop. Listen. I don't know if I should dance right now, if I should worry for Navi, okay? Because we're getting <laughs> we're getting ambiguous signs yeah. out of the Navi camp, right? For one, you see Simple who's starting could come alive and he's yeah. having that very oh. aggressive, assertive oh. attitude on the server. He that's beautiful. He even goes for the last one. But on the other hand, that's Good two rounds for these now. These kind of rounds as well. For some reason he just sort of has that energy about him, that sort of air of arrogance when he has an AK. He knows that he can be deadly with it. He's looking for a potential opener as well. Peering up towards the ticket booth instead, opts to dive into the window, and he gets kicked straight out by Perfecto. Not the end of the world. They can go grab that gun. The player jumps over Con. NQC armed. Throw him up on a boost, perhaps, but ooh, will the timing do him favors? Oh, it's a good check. Perfecto gone, and now they definitely need to take that window. Bo bo boost the pistol, right? Unless he's going to throw his gun back over. This is a dangerous decision. Why are they not giving the weapon to Dumao? He's got a Kevlar. He could actually get the best out of the AK right now. This should be a little detail. Could make a difference. Yeah, they've completely negated the gun that they've dropped. I mean, if he threw his AK back, at least that would have done something. But now they're down a man and down in the weaponry as well. Down in the dumps, you could say. Two or three. Two and three. Uh, simple re-aggresses off of Cat. He gets smoked off. He knows they have to plant. Trying to get that bomb down. Cold Zero punching in the digits in the last few seconds. Electronic with the M4 dropping the Tyrannosaurus wrecked onto Cold Zero as he's removed from the equation. It's all up to NQZ. Arm with the AK. Has to slay. Hits the first. Electronic now on the DECK. Peeks in oh, the simple no. as well. He's making the round work. Oh, no. Knows where the bird is and finishes him off. Zero Zero Nation with a commanding round. They should not be winning that one, Matthew. <laughs> what is this? Is this what I'm supposed to come in and give you an analysis of what happened? Break it down for me. What the hell was that? Madness. Madness. I mean, listen, there's been a couple of very good ideas. Oh. Obviously, here, the boost is beautiful. It's pristine. Perfecto doesn't really see it coming. And then I just like how aggressive he's being in that clutch because he realizes if he's hiding, there's no way he's winning the clutch at all. Damn, it's just, yeah. I like this boost. But it will get avoided entirely. A con walk by the con men of Zero Zero Nation looking to steal this Antico away. Keep it clean themselves, right? Good flash. And they turn. So that's a third round. Navi are looking for exits, but you aren't going to get much. Isn't it the beauty of Counter-Strike how in a few seconds an entire narrative can change. We can go from what is very obviously a train taking you to the 6-1 station with Navi full of money, having a whole good time, and now it is actually going to be 5-3 to three with Zero Nation banking it to the max. I don't think anybody's going to fall in this round. They're going to be able to have that security, have that peace of mind. And this was truly coming in from nowhere. It has been manifested, materialized by that, individual brilliance. The other day when we had Naf and Osi on the couch after winning and qualifying to the playoffs, they were talking about Counter-Strike and what, what like drew them in, because originally they played League of Legends, lol. And, uh, and, and they talked about how they got to a point where they realized, especially Osi, 
Like, you don't actually have that much individual impact, or it's difficult to. Even if you play your best, it can be taken out of your hands entirely. And that's what drew him to CS, the idea that, like, you can win a game. You can pull a comeback. You can be 14-1 down. Yeah, there could be one kind of magical moment. Simple, bringing the AWP back out to play, stationed towards B for now. We'll see if he gets some limelight here into the ninth. It's been relatively quiet and slow from Zero Zero Nation, and I, and I feel like Navi struggle to kind of put together what is happening on the map. We see Perfecto here looking for information, catches next off guard. That is a little bit of a given. There weren't any utility that would warrant this peak. He wasn't using a flash. He didn't wait for a smoke whatsoever. He just peeked, got the kill. But still then, you could see on the map the positioning of the CT. They don't exactly know what is going on. Simple is alone on B. Not that he can't, he's very able to handle that situation. But no one is here to help him. There's a late rotation. It's all got to be the simple show now then. Rotation slowly arriving. Spilt's the first head. Punished oh, is trying to get the reaction shot again. off onto Cold as well. Perfecto punishes one. And suddenly the T's are down to just two. But they're making this look manageable. They take damage, sure. But they're still in with a fighting chance. The bomb's been grabbed. Rotations there, they're pushing up towards the site. Cold, does he have eyes in the back of his head? Oh, leaves the electronic dead and it's all down a bit. Bombs planted, Cold, covering for the cross. Molotov dashed out to make it so much more awkward. Tags him down to five. He can only hold on this edge. He can't oh. push over and Bit spams him on the cross. Damn, you feel for Cold after that one. Three kills, again being simple in the head-to-head. -head. All the glory, but not enough to win the round. Na'Vi stay above water in a very difficult round where they had no util. That was a complicated. Being able to back that one, that's a six for Na'Vi. Back and forth, and then back again. And QZ with the AWP in con, and he finds that pick as well. Huge opener that Na'Vi cannot respond early against. Cold Zero is going to flash himself into the connector. Right now it's all on Perfecto. Simple's left searching for ghosts. As Zero Zero Nation get ready to split this site. They're still not in a hurry. Lato is all the way back at Palace. Oh, can you see the feet? Cold Zero creeps out onto the stairwell. So close. Perfecto waiting for the timing. Exchange of utility. Biding his time. The bullet Ooh. whizzing by him. Gets one, switches out to the USP. Ouch. He's dropped. There's the trades. Simple's been brought down to 28 as well. This is looking iffy. Cold Zero is putting on a masterclass right now. He gets tagged though by the orb. Down to seven health off the plants. They cannot go for it. Yeah. They cannot. They can there is there's absolutely no way Navi goes for this. We can see already the, the save coming through. What an interesting call from Zero's Nation. First of all, change of pace. We were talking about how slow and meticulous they were taking mid control. They were waiting most of these rounds here. Complete change. And that explains, in part, why Electronic is getting caught off guard completely. He is unsuspecting of that potential AWP peak. But then right after that, it's these little ideas, right? You smoke top connector, which generally is a call that you're about to go into a B split. They've done it a couple of times and it's been working. What do they do instead? No, they wait in the smoke to take that fade process out of it. And then the trades come through, two for two, and then that's the mathematic kicks in. That's really well played from Zero Zero Nation. They didn't put it together a, a pristine T side. And that was the case already on overpass. And I Hard shot to hit if you're not Woxic. Simple, patient. Have they spotted next? They seem extremely he, focused. He smoked the molly, or someone smoked the molly earlier, so they've got to read. They don't know for sure. But Electronic's getting curious, getting fancy with it, covered by cold. But he did get the info at least. Simple knows he has prey waiting in mid. Yeah, and this they is a, stay. a very dangerous buy for Na'Vi. They had almost no money, so they threw everything in. Ooh, so the timing perfect, good work just enough to get information. The issue is, not only have you lost a player, but Simple could not stay catwalk. He has to make a decision. It seems like the gamble is about to pay off on Avi, though we see all the pieces going towards the A side, and this is the point of ingress for Zero Zero Nation. Simple. 
The scoped assassin peering in through the smoke, waiting to pop it, leave the broke. It's the SMG that mauls them. Near missed on the first. Repositions with the sniper, waiting for the peak, sees a gap, takes it, shuts down one man, oh. but he's finished off. The wall bang will silence him, and it's up to Tick Bit tock. now in the palace. Ten seconds on the clock, you gotta pump that bomb. The molly goes out, but Bit dives in. He's oh. toying with him, but he cleans it up. Always. Once again, yeah, clean <laughs> with the MP9. <laughs> always trust him, Bit man. You can always trust in this guy to close a clutch. That's oppressive as well. He doesn't doubt himself when he gets forced out with a Molotov. He just hunts down that AWP instantly. Good save of the simples double up towards triple. He he, you know, walked a little wide and got spotted by the orbs. So that's instead the B player has already been pulled towards that lower window portion. So mostly focused towards A, but can simples B? Why? Yeah, that's Why? Again, that's the case. Is this a read? It's. It has to be some sort of preparation, or they are waiting for a round that they think should happen, and maybe in their minds this would have been the moment for a B contact play or a B speed play. That's a little bit of information missed shot from Simple. At least it does. You know, when you have someone like Simple, you can put them alone on one half of the map, and the other four can congregate on A. But it makes it all the more annoying when you don't get fights. And Simple has been unsuccessful. He found one player, couldn't kill him. This is where Navi should actually go for a little bit of an info play, right? They have four players dedicated to the A side. There's 45 seconds left. You could have flashed bit into the A ramp and then you would have known. Now Perfecto is kind of sensing, tingling yeah. that something is going on. But as the hit happens, Perfecto is just joining Simple. Oh, he's not in a good position for the orb at all. He needs a kill here and now to give him some room to move Simple into the Molotov. But you can't do the jumping double against Cold. Four on four. Perfecto waits for the climb over and he peeks deep as well. Two kills from the back of the site as Perfecto saves Na'Vi's good graces. A flick is there in time, but the time is the problem. 10 seconds and he's going for it. Electronic does not play with you and he will close the round. Woo! A matter of a few seconds. Yeah. Uh, literally a few seconds had that hit hit earlier. Perfecto would not have found his position, but he played it to perfection and that sounds horrifying. I gotta find a play. He played it brilliantly. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. To go, perfection that no, it, sounds, it actually sounds great, Matthew. You just don't do it every round. <laughs> exactly, yes. That's a one-off. But the fact is, Simple is taking so much attention with his movement and kind of... I wonder whether or not we're gonna see them now kind of shut down very slowly and whether or not this is going to be an Avi all the way home. Well, Anki's is different plans, at least. And he picks Simple as well. Huge head-to-head -to, -head to find. And not the first time he's attempted that opening move either. Both times it's come up for the Brazilians. And now they can just sweat it. Wait a moment, catch your breath, and hope Na'Vi react. Yeah, they've been really good at it. They've been really good at leaving Na'Vi to their own demise, wondering what the hell is going on. Like, the entire map is under control. There is literally not a single portion that is not a set of eyes on it. We see Ladder is curving towards the A side. We have the Mao on B as well. He's in the stairs to what So nothing can happen. The peak comes through and Electronic finds the one gap. One second after the smoke puts it to a 4v4. Threads the needle to keep the round close in the four versus four. 40 seconds on the clock now, shuffling their way back towards the A site. The cavalry's arrived, but Electronic gets absolutely obliterated. Bit stutter wow. stepping round the back of the site. He's Did he catch whiff? Oh, oh, he's dead. No. Seen him. Oh, God, it's getting awkward. He's slamming in. He's trying to finish him. Left. Oh, dear. He doesn't know his wall bangs, boys. He does not know his wall bangs. And 10 rounds to four. Wastes far too much time on a kill not presented. And beautiful display from Bit as well. Two Once kills again. and lives. Once again, and, and let another fool you, sure, there was an opportunity for the sniper to find Bit, but his work had already been done. Once again, a multi-kill on the A side. Uh, I'll still give a, a shout out to Electronic, who I think took a little bit of attention off of Bit, a little bit of pressure. Window molly as well to set off the smoke, but there is no smoke. There's just one man sitting inside of it. Snacks-esque starts He's running, dying. and simple saw on the retreat, as you oh. say. Bit hits a banger, hits a head, takes two with him. 18 and five, this guy is on a streak. Oh, Lato on one HP. You feel for oh, him, although, okay. hang on a minute, the 
Skalils. They're starting to punish, but it's too little, too late. Lato with a single health. Surely there's nothing more to be done, man. This has just got to be an 11th round for Na'Vi. He's just waiting for the push to come to him. They shouldn't give him anything, yeah. but they will come back. Early shots coming out up mid. Doom out, just taking the brunt of the damage. Loses a bit of health and scurries away. Bit with a P250, looking to slay. Sees a bit of leg room. Electronic gets close as well. Cold on the flank, and okay. actually, no, it's NQZ that kills them all. <laughs> How's he done that? And don't count Na'Vi out still, because Simple's got that B pick and the bomb is jumping out. There's one man hiding. How long can he live? Lato Ooh. takes the bomb and Simple needs this kill ASAP before reinforcements flurry in. Electronic killing players in mid, but he's got to fight. NQZ coming out up on under. This is a mess. Right now, Na'Vi about to 2v4 right back the other way. 0-0 zero, zero Nation. Le uh, resting on Lato's individuals, he hits Simple out, but Electronic is on a tear already, oh. and he'll finish what he started. 12 <laughs> rounds, a pistol that will push Na'Vi over the edge. Pistol that looks like the backbreaker yeah. for Zero Zero Nation, unfortunately. I was about to say, I think the scoreline of the first half doesn't really paint an accurate picture. I think Zero Zero Nation had plenty of very well thought out rounds yeah. where it was a the question of who gets the best trade moving into the side bit did an amazing job so might have been a little bit harsh but when you have that 4v2 lead here players with the profile of civil and electronic know exactly how they have to move around how they have to utilize the situation you can see how simple was dancing by that pillar not over peaking not over extending but still punishing any kind of mistake it's a beautiful 2v4 simple Spots the head, push comes up, tucked in the corner. Mm, all right, oh. actually, hang on a minute. The Deagles are doing some damage. A little bit of fancy footwork being put into the round. It's getting better and better. It's now all on Perfecto in a one versus two. He's These crunch. rounds are ridiculous. He knows about Lado. He knows about Lado, so he has to make his way towards that position whilst figuring out where the hell the last one is. And this is a guessing game. It's a mental game. It's a patience game. I think the shot's coming in from his back, so now he's aware. And it's basically a game of fishing and hunting. First kill onto Lado, and now he strikes. He waits a little bit, has a time to reload. And a situation that favored the Cities has just turned on its head. Now it's Perfecto who's definitely leading that one. He's so clutch, patient in the 1v1. Next doesn't want to walk out into the site, and Perfecto knows it. Gonna go for the site. Will he stick it first time? No, he's scared of a reset to short to back site. Next walking in, Perfecto gets another spot. He can stick it, but again, he plays with his food. He hopes his prey comes to him. Perfecto, he can't do this forever. 15 seconds. Will he finally have the gonads to stick? Yes, he does. A fake footstep gets him off. 10 seconds. Perfecto may be playing with his own mind right now. He has to go for it finally. Already out the door. Perfecto changes position, but he's being hunted down. Someone calls it. Surely, as he swings out, he will close the 1v2. It is not clean. <laughs> it is not perfect, but it is Perfecto with the round. Oh, how much I would pay to be able to be in both players' mind and just <laughs> hear their thoughts throughout this 1v1. Because just, you said it, it's just a, a game of chicken. It's a mind game. I'm planting. Am I really planting? I don't know. I faked three times. Am I going to fake four times? CTs make noise in the kitchen. Am I coming out? I'm not. Eight <laughs> seconds. You don't know. This is so beautiful. And then the second he actually does stick. More courage and bravery in how they play the game. And if, you're, if you want to try and reach new skies, new limits, this is the way. And it's a very encouraging step. Now, I'm not going to put them down too quickly. The road ahead is extremely long. It's probably very painful, but it is, after all, Counter-Strike, as we like to talk about. So let's see where this goes. Oh, this fade smoke play for Electronic is masterful. And oh, if they didn't respawn, oh, it doesn't matter. They do anyway. He sees through it and takes two with him under the balcony, burnt by the molly at a 5v2 in an instant. Na'Vi with a reality check that will get them to 15, they'll cash it. Now, where does that leave us for Na'Vi? Because of course, the reaction from map two to three is something to command. Yeah. It's great. We, we could have seen an Na'Vi that in the past would get in their own heads and maybe get frustrated, agitated, and somewhat gamble, fumble it a little bit. 
It's not what happened. It was very controlled, mm. a lot of authority as well on that map number three, but I don't think this is a, a positive per se. It's mainly doing what they need to do, they stay in the office. Yeah, this is the bare minimum, right? And okay, sure, they lose a map in the middle. It shows another weakness. It shows you know, ma another map that teams might pick into against this roster, but ultimately, outsiders, heroic, waiting for these boys. Those are the true tests. And Na'Vi, one more round, and they're a step closer to getting there. As well, I think Heku is going to get a live interview with Electronic after this game, hopefully. That'd be great. In Russian, so translated. I'd love to hear your thought on where Na'Vi is currently, what are the challenges that they're facing, because again... It's just had an unbelievable match. 21 and 8, he's That's still great. looking for openers. Yeah, it's reassuring, to say the very least. And Electronic does it again, doesn't he, Jackie? He's not stopping. Just keeps on going. This man never stops with the killing. And this is exactly what we're talking about. Headshot on to Dumao. Four versus three. This is where it could all end for Zero Zero Nation here in the third and final map. They would be eliminated from the ESL Pro League playoffs. But they have a fighting chance. The Orb lurking at the back of B. Tried to line up the reaction slot onto the second, but he's silenced by Bit. Yeah, now they're just desperately rotating, but no kit, no position. The bomb about to get planted. He has cover from Bit. Simple's even flexing his muscles as well. They've heard it, and he's not going to hit that shot, but it shouldn't matter for Na'Vi. They're set up in the site with a boost as well. This is insulting to close. Perfecto, a turret right now. No reason or need to move, and 0-0 Nation better move quick because that bomb ticks ever far.